Lesson 3, the multiplication and division of complex numbers. Right, now we're going to multiply these two numbers together, so we'll need to set this up. So Z1 times Z2 is equal to bracket minus 1 plus 2i times 2 plus i. Now at this stage we could use that concept of FOIL, that's first, outside, inside, last. But that can be can cause some problems. So I'm going to do it a slightly longer way. I'm going to first of all multiply this bracket by minus 1. That's minus 1 outside of 2 plus i. And this one by 2i. You don't have to do it this way. If you want to use 4, you can. But you need to be a bit careful, particularly with these i's. As you'll see, first one's all right. That's going to be minus 2 minus i. This one's 2i times 2, which is 4i. But this one is plus 2i squared. Now, if you recall, i squared is equal to negative 1. That's what you'll watch out for with these ones. So this becomes minus 2 minus i plus 4i minus 2. So the final result becomes minus 4, collected the real parts, and this becomes plus 3i. But please go ahead and use FOIL, but because it is faster, but at least this will give you the correct answer. Alright, now we're going to divide these two numbers, Z1 and Z2, and we'll do it this way, Z1 divided by Z2 is equal to minus 3 plus 4i over 2 plus 3i. Now, we, what we do now is to make this part here real, we're going to multiply by its conjugate. So let's have a look at that. Change the color. So the conjugate of this is 2 minus 3i. It's like rationalizing the denominator with irrational numbers. There we go. Of course, this is just 1. So we're not changing the value of anything. So we make sure we multiply by the conjugate. Don't ignore what the top is. Just look at the denominator and just simply change the sign and put the same thing above it. Right, now we're ready to go. Now what I'll do, I'll do this bit down, these bits separately. So 2 plus 3i times 2 minus 3i. Now you can use uh, the foil here because we can see that the, these the first the outside term and the inside terms will drop out so it just becomes 2 times 2 is equal to 4 and now 3i times 3i minus 3i now that becomes minus 9 times i squared but i squared is minus 1 so this becomes plus 9 Right, which gives me 13 as my result. Now, I'll do the other part separately as well. So I'll have minus 3 plus 4i times 2 minus 3i. And it's minus 3 outside of 2 minus 3i plus 4i outside of 2 minus 3i, which gives me minus 6, and this becomes plus 9i, plus 8i, and this becomes, now that'll be a i squared, which is a minus 1, so 4 times 3 is minus 12, but it becomes plus 12, because the i squared, and that's why this is a nice technique because you, you don't make that error because you're focusing on i squared as negative 1 and that will give me positive 6 we add the real parts together plus 17i that's the top bit 
So the final result is going to be equal to 6 plus 17i over 13. But we should really write that as 6 on 13 plus 17 on 13i. Break it up and there's the real bit and there's the imaginary bit over here.